Ben Sebastian here, curator of the Sonic Symphonic Podcast and composer of the Callison series of albums. Back here today with another review, and this one is from Felix Lake, their metalcore artist, uh, which I'll talk to you about in a second. But let's talk about metalcore. Metalcore is a genre that became the most widely mainstream genre, subgenre of metal in the 2000s, and for some reason passed me by, I think, typically, possibly because maybe it's a generational gap, uh, and secondly, uh, uh, and probably more accurately, um, I was very much into my sort of symphonic metal, Cradle of Filth, I was just discovering all of that, Napalm Death, Death Metal, um, uh, and, and so on and so forth, and it's been a genre that has never really sort of taken to my senses in the way that some others um, however, there are sub sub genres of of, uh, of 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 metalcore, and some of those I featured and I thoroughly enjoyed. So I listened to this with with an open mindset um, and and completely blind uh, 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 as well. Um, but onto the artist. So this as this guy T J Whiting. He's set his sights far beyond you know his home turf and aims is aiming to to gain some form of global standing in. What he, what he calls the post-hardcore community, um, collaborating with international uh, uh, outfits and featuring artists along the way, uh, aiming to pull his audience into a deeper, introspective level. His debut single, which we're gonna we're gonna play, we're gonna play two singles. Um, his debut single is available on major platforms, and it explores the intrepid path to recovery, which laces enlightenment with spite and will lose you a fake few fake friends who never wanted you to succeed along way i mean yes that's that is unfortunately the path of recovery i can i can absolutely speak to that um i i quit cocaine and i think we're about 702 703 days away depending on what time of the afternoon and where you are in the world um and and i recall you know giving up this this toxic lifestyle and everyone around me being laced with similar toxicities and uh, uh and, and so many people keen to get you back into the the mire and and they'll use very clever ways of so doing be like yeah 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 we support you la 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 and then you know you meet up you're having a chat it gets past about eight o'clock at night and it's like oh hello do you want to I've, I've got a bag you know and then that's it yep <laughs> and it's like they don't they don't, they don't want they don't want you to, to leave that sphere they don't want you you know, healthy, they don't want you mentally sound, you know, they don't want you succeeding, you know, getting a new job, moving away from them, no, they want you pinned exactly where you are. And I have also been that person at some point in time in my addiction, absolutely for sure. Um, so moving on back to the music, um, but just really to say that uh, he's encapsulized that process and that idea. I don't know whether it's been personal experience. Um, I'm assuming as a musician, yes, that is so, but uh, we we haven't spoken of of of, our, of, of any detail, and, and and nor do we. Um, I think the message is fairly universal um, to, to 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 many people. So he claims that uh, he's got this anthemic vocal layering, which testifies to the ironically uncathartic process of healing, uh, and jarringly euphoric electronica increments next to rugged bass metal guitar chops, which heighten the animated rancor to the nth degree. I must say, this chap is uh, Tyler is is exceedingly verbose, and his choice of words um, are, are 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 a compelling compelling read. So I'm really looking forward to, to getting into this. The single, first single, debut single, Recovery, features collaborating artists from across the States, Italy and England. And uh, he says there is always space in the ever-expanding international Phoenix Lake Collective for similarly, 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 yeah, similarly inclined <laughs> artists. Uh, so yeah, here's a guy on a mission to produce some cool music and create an international collective for like-minded folk and what's not to like on the sound of this so without further pitter patter let's get in this is recovery Carry on, stop away 
I always apologize for being less rambunctious, you know, physically uh, when I when I review artist material, and it's not doesn't say that they, you know, the material is any better or any any worse. Um, it's just that you know, as I said before, there's this like sort of little gap between me and and full kind of getting the full metalcore experience and, and and enjoying it to its maximum capacity. It's it's not really my genre. Um, but what I will say is that it was a, it was a pleasant listen, uh, uh, and and musically, this guy really does know his metalcore because you've got all of that, uh, uh, all of you've got the screaming, you've got the clean kind of core type of vocals, which I talked about earlier. Um, you've got the you know the stop starts, you've got sort of percussive sort of guitar um, tones. Uh, it's got every hallmark of the genre, and and it's delivered well, it's produced well. Uh, it's 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 tidy and it's an emotive piece and it covers an emotive topic and it talks about all of those things he said he would talk about you know in terms of the struggles of recovery and the and the, you know the memories of you know of the of the times that you know were probably good even though you were doing the bad thing um but you know they were good memories but you have to sort of let them go and and other people were unwilling to let to let you and those go as well uh so yeah i mean he did and in in, in the terms of the sort of you know the the, the dissonances and all the co cohesions between conflicting interests and sounds he has all of those down to point this guy knows what he's doing and he's delivering it very well so on the basis of that i'm now more interested in this kind of delivery of metal metal core and i'm really looking forward to delving into the next track which is called echo and here he says that felix lake return in candorous form um with a resonantly impactful single that is hook laden and an outpouring of post-hardcore rancor, which contrasts the colossal sonic energy with a vocal vulnerability that is piercingly poignant. And the lyrics epitomize the proclivity of trauma to leave us as nothing more than an echo. And, and an energetic instrumental algorithm pays homage to iconic acts such as Senses Fall and A Day to Remember. I know, I know that second one. Before pushing the melodic synthesized discord into uncharted territory. And he says, though Echo was born through personal reflection, Felix Lake has the poetic lexicon to speak for everyone that has felt themselves slip away after identity shattering torment. Well, he took one word out of my mouth there, which was lexicon. And this, this chap, Mr. Whiting, Tyler Whiting, he has quite a, a, a profoundly comprehensive uh, lexicon and, and knows when and what to deploy and how. And, uh, and I think that is something that really sets this apart um, from some other uh, uh, kind of mediums of, of this form of, of music and, and its delivery. And I, I, I think this will, this will spur on his ambitions in terms of creating this international collaboration to success. Um, really talented guy through and through. So without further ado, this is the second single, Echo.
storming I wanna break this cloud Reveal what has been hiding Questions never been asked Wait for it second track dealing with the issues of recovery and all the other psychological torment that uh, uh, Tyler seeks to address through Felix Lake, this track screamed a lot more confidence to me. And it was it's impressive. It's impressively bigger sounding. And I found that like absolutely much, much more enjoyable than the first. Uh, so like, I am like, okay, I'm, 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 there's still a disconnect between me and Metalcore. Um, but I'm warm. At, but this this project is making me warm to it, and I think I think it's down to to the way this guy is conducting himself through his music and and chat the energies that he is channeling, and and it's good. It's good to come across bands and genres of music that you wouldn't normally sort of subscribe to or or, or seek out. Because, you know, we're all humans. We we kind of love our little comfort zones and, you know. and But, you know, in doing this podcast, I don't want to be like, you know, that, that guy that was like, oh, oh, God, oh, like, oh, Metallica lives least an album and it doesn't sound like the first four that they ever made. Oh, I can't handle it. So, you know, it's I really thank Tyler for the new experiences. <laughs> so I went on, off on one there. But... Uh, yeah, I really thank Tyler for, for the new experience. I, I wish him, for, you know, well with this with this international project. And you know, I'd be interested to learn who is getting involved, how is getting involved, how is getting them involved, um, at what the next step is, when the next release is, um, and uh, and how could we better kind of you know get 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 the word out there. So in order to do my small thing to assist that, I'm going to throw some links below and. Uh, I'm going to follow uh, Felix Lake. I suggest you do too. Let's keep an eye on this project. And uh, yeah, I, I wish it many more fruitful singles and uh, and positive returns. You know, that's been all for this one. Um, see you soon, I guess. Over and out.